everyone. Welcome to Talks with Conrad. Those of you who don't know me, I've interviewed TikTokers, Olympian athletes, Olympian medalists, singers, etc. And today I am going to be interviewing a, an Olympian swimmer and I'll introduce you once she once she comes on. Also, hi, um, 3-3 Holly. I just got to wait for her to request. And also, I'm just trying to pin my um, my username. Just one sec. One sec, guys. Okay. All right. Here we go. Okay. So she's here. So let's get this rocking. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm doing. I'm doing really good. How 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 are you doing today? Oh, I'm good. Thank you. Oh yeah, no problem. So tell me about yourself. Oh, I am a Canadian Olympic swimmer. I competed in Rio 2016 and Tokyo 2020 um, in the 100 and 200 meter brushstroke. And I currently live in Kelowna, British Columbia, and I'm selling real estate now and um, still like kind of swimming, kind of thinking about Paris, but might dial that in uh, in 12 months, just in the year, year, year leading up. Oh, very cool. And what inspired you to do real estate? Oh, my parents both did it. So my dad's still selling here in Kelowna and my mom got into marketing and SEO marketing. So they kind of work together and I just, I joined the family business and I love it. Cool. And what's like something you want to improve on when you're doing real estate? Oh, something I want to improve is I think I'm just trying to get as much experience as I can right now. So I'm just, I'm working long days and trying to meet people and hanging out with my dad. And um, I think I just, I just want to get more experience right now. And does your, st does your dad still work in real estate? Yeah. 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 We're working together. Oh, nice. And do you have any brothers or sisters that also work in real estate or is it just you and your dad? I have a brother, but he um, works in healthcare and he just started a, um, a lawn care business that is exciting to watch him uh, do. It's entrepreneurial and um, it seems fun and he's passionate about it. So um, getting to watch him do that, but he's working for interior health too. So seeing him balance that and, um, but yeah, no, he's not into real estate, but uh, um, yeah, I have a brother. Oh, cool. So I so I have so I have some questions for you. So what is like something you've always wanted to do on your bucket list? Oh, what a fun question! Um, I've always wanted to go to <laughs> to Nashville. Oh, Nash Nashville. What what would you want to do in Nashville? I want to go to the Bluebird Cafe where Taylor Swift was discovered. So you're a huge um, Taylor Swift fan. Do you have like a favorite song by her? Um. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm a huge Taylor Swift fan. My favorite song is probably the one or All Too Well. All Too Well. Have Have you ever listened to Blank Space or Absolutely. or Style? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Those are your faves. Those are Those are definitely my my faves. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> have you Have you Have you been to her concert before? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, um, I went to, I've been to it in Minneapolis and Chicago and Toronto and Vancouver. Um, and then I wanted to go to Seattle, but I didn't make it. But yeah, I, I liked, uh, I love, I love a Taylor Swift concert. Which, which tours did you go to? Oh, I went to um, Speak Now, Red. I didn't go to Fearless. Um, I went to Reputation and, and 1989. I think that's it. Oh, oh, nice. Yeah, I went to 1989 tour as well. And she, I remember she killed it. Yeah, that was so it was so good. That was a really good one. And where and where were you sitting at the at the concert? Um, reputation, I got down onto the floor for all three that I went to. And then 1989, I was lower upper bowl, but like to the the left hand side of the stage. Um, which was nice because she like goes down to the crowd so you can see a lot more up there, but it's a different experience. Oh, awesome. Very cool. I'm, I'm so glad that you had like a great time at the Taylor Swift concert because I know when I went to the one in Vancouver and 
the one in Seattle, it was a wonderful experience. It is a wonderful experience. <laughs> For sure. So my, my next question is what's like one difficult obstacle that you had to overcome? One difficult obstacle I had to overcome was probably first year university. I had a really difficult time moving out on my own and making friends and balancing a schedule between swim practice and school and social life and um, learning to cook for myself and all of those, all of those little boxes and getting my homework done on time and doing well and traveling. Um, it just, once it started to slip in one area, everything else kind of started to slip. And so I had to really dial in once, once everything kind of crashed down and I didn't perform as well as I wanted in school or in the pool. Um, I had to kind of, ask for help and dial in on my goals and what I wanted out of all the work I was putting in. And that was when I could really focus in on the important things and try and cut out anything that was maybe a distraction. Oh, got it. And what, and the school that you went to, you're talking about, is that a four, is that like a four year university? It was, it was the university of Minnesota. Oh, cool. And what, what made you want to go down to university of Minnesota? The swim team. So I did my recruiting trips and at Minnesota, um, just felt the most at home. It was a good fit. I knew there probably wasn't a wrong choice going to any, any four-year university down in the States. But uh, yeah, Minnesota was my favorite one. I loved the coaches and the team and um, it's a great school academically. So it was a good fit. Awesome. And was there any other schools that you were considering besides Minnesota or once, once you got in Minnesota, was that your immediate decision? Um, no, it took, I, it took a, a couple, like a week or two after leaving and I visited four schools. And so after, after I was done all my trips in September, I spent a week or two in October thinking about it. And then once I decided, I, I never looked back. I was so sure. Oh, gotcha. Very cool. That is awesome. Very, very happy for you with that I went to I went to Western Washington University and I graduated after five years and it was fun. <laughs> oh, that's awesome! Good for you. And if I may ask, what what was your degree in? And did you minor in anything? I double majored in psychology and communications, but no minor. But I did it in five years. Nice, good job. <laughs> yeah, thanks. So my other question I have is what what's like some acti is there if there's like one activity that you like doing that like not everybody knows about what what is it um i i i was gonna say swimming in the lake but maybe people would guess that um i don't know i think everyone everyone knows all the activities i like to do um i really enjoy doing homework in coffee shops i don't have homework anymore but that is i love doing that Cool. And when, so when you were in college, was your classes test-based or was it essay-based when you were doing homework? Oh, it was both. So in, in psychology, I mean, there were some essays, but it was a lot of tests and then a lot of multiple choice tests. And then in my communications degree, it was a lot of essays, some tests, but more essays. Okay. And what would and what would you say your favorite class was in college? Probably sports psych. Awesome. Good question. For sure. And was it? Did you? Ha was it? What was like the most difficult class that you had to take in college? Oh, um, stats. How 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 so? It was math. <laughs> That's not not what I'm good at. Got it. Well, it's amazing how hard work can pay off. And I'm glad that you took took that class and pursue, pursued it, even though it might have been really tough. So thank you. Good so good job with thank that. So now I'll talk to you about like swimming and the Olympics. So what was your favorite moment in the Olympics? Favorite moment in the Olympics was probably from Rio um, because my friends and family were there and swimming was finished after the first week. So getting to hang out with them after and kind of celebrate it because it was their experience as much as mine and their accomplishment and uh, just getting to to celebrate that and enjoy um, enjoy Rio with them. Oh, cool. And 
what and did you 